I'm out of this negotiation. I've got my 14 quid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got a decent deal, haven't you? As it's you, okay. Yay! There we go. Rob, daylight robbery. <laughs> Welcome back to Cooking Hayden's. I'm Carboot Chris, and today I'm going to be showing you two things. Firstly, a haul from Real Car Boot Cell. There's no boot sale footage today, but we've got the haul to show you. Now, secondly, if you stay tuned to the end, I'm actually getting rid of quite a bit of my collectibles. Yeah. It's time to trim it down a bit. We've just moved house and um, it's given me a perfect opportunity to reassess everything in my collectibles collection. So um, I am getting rid of some stuff and the two Steves from Movie Chats, the channel, channel Movie Chats, if you want to go and subscribe. Um, they are going to pick through some of the stuff that I'm getting rid of. Unfortunately, some of it has to go. So if you want to stay till the end, We'll see what kind of deal we do with the two Steves. I went to Real Car Boot Sale today and I picked up quite a few bits and bobs. First up is this little set of, well, it's not really a set, but it's four figures. I bought them all together on one stall. They were one pound, not each, one pound for the four. It was four for the quid. So I picked up two wrestlers because I'm always selling these um, on whatnot, and I'm going to be back on whatnot soon. So we've got two wrestlers. Do not ask me who they are. I'm useless at wrestling. If any of you know me, you'll know that I am useless at wrestling. Irrespective, I'm not even going to look up the value of these. They're going to just go straight into whatnot show. They could be worth a lot. They could be worth not a lot, but viewers will know. I do not, and they're going to go straight into a whatnot. And there's these two pop figures. I think that's out of Trolls. Probably worth about five to ten. Again, I'm probably going to go straight into a whatnot with with that. That will probably be on a wall. Whoops, a daisy. And this one is a Marvel. Is it Crossfire? Marvel fans screaming at me right now. Um, but that one probably goes straight into a whatnot show. Perfect. I like selling the figures and toys and stuff on whatnot. So four for a quid. That's absolutely perfect. Let's stay with the figures theme. We've got this Pennywise It from the original film, and um, it's a NECA figure. Now, fingers crossed it's genuine. There's a lot of fake NECA toys out there. You need to be very, very careful. And the quality varies a lot. Some, some of them are great and some of them are really terrible. But I need to check this one. Sorry if there's a bit of glare. I need to check to see if this is real or not. I paid up, I paid £10 for it. I have this in my collection already. In fact, it's in there somewhere. It's at the back there. But his hand is broken. So what I might do is I might switch this out in my own collection or I might sell it. If I sell it, it's going to be worth about £35 on eBay. I paid a tenner. There's still money in it. But I might, I might keep it for myself. But £10 paid on that one. Next one up is the infamous Walkman. Well, not Walkman, but this is a Panasonic cassette radio not walkman because walkman is sony but you know what i mean we all call them walkmans don't we um you take chances with these right sometimes you win sometimes you lose sometimes you get half a win and this is half a win because i paid three pound for it and um when i say you take a chance sometimes it works sometimes you don't so it's best to not pay too much for them this one, the battery compartment is absolutely shot to pieces. It is rusted to hell. I'm not qualified to fix that. Um, I definitely can't. I'm not no good at fixing that. Um, but I paid three. Still, as spares and repairs, they're still desirable. Somebody out there will fix that. I'm going to list it at £25 spares and repairs. That's why I'm saying it's half a win. It's still a fair, a fair value on it. Um, it would have been worth more if it had been working order, um, but still three pound. Keeping on the music theme, we've got this Sennheiser um, gaming headset. Now Sennheiser is a great brand, really good quality stuff. Um, this is a PC 310 and it's new and sealed, which makes it even better. So uh, I paid four pound for it. I think, 
I'm going to list it at 40 to 50 pounds just because it's new and sealed. Um, you probably get 30 for it unboxed, so 40 to 50 new and sealed. That's not bad. I got two football shirts on one store. I got this Celtic Umbro vintage, I think it's around the year 2000 shirt. Um, condition a little bit bobbly, but we can perhaps improve on it a little bit. It's the NTL sponsor. I think it's genuine. I've had a look. Um, it cost me £3. And also on the same stall, I got this United top. Um, now, if you watched a video a few weeks ago, I picked up a fake United top. And this is the this is the same one, but the genuine version. Uh, this is from 2021, is it? Yeah, 2021. Um, and I can tell the difference straight away when I'm looking at it. Like I was saying to you guys, the stitching in the neck, the little tag with the date on it, it was all wrong on that last one. And this one, I'm pretty sure, is genuine. There it is. Nothing on the back, unfortunately. Now, I paid a fiver for this one. So the guy on the stall obviously felt that the United one was worth more because he charged me a fiver for that and the Celtic one was worth less because he charged me £3 for that. But in reality, the Celtic one is worth considerably more than the United one. So resale value, the Celtic one, I'm looking at about 40 quid. The United one, about 20 which I actually thought the United one would be worth a bit more than that. But maybe because it's only a couple of years old, um, it's just not got the value. But still, we paid a fiver for that into 20. It's not too bad. We got this Monster Energy, uh, is it VR46? Uh, like motorsport hoodie. Quite a nice design on it. I paid £2. And I think I'm going to go for about 30 on that one. Sticking with clothing, I got this real tree camo uh, jacket. It's made by, I was trying to read it, you know how bad I am at reading uh, names and logos. I think it's Liberty. I think it's Liberty. Um, I paid a fiver. I always sort of, I, I, I veer towards the real tree camo. You know, this, this kind of design is like real tree. Somebody told me that, by the way, a while back. And um, I always look out for it now because it always sells well. If you get fleeces, jackets, rain jackets, all kinds of stuff. Um, it's good for fishing, hunting, uh, all that. And uh, yeah, I paid a fiver. I think it's worth about 30. It wouldn't be a car boot Chris Hall without some plush toys. Um, we've got this really, really nice uh, Pikachu, sleeping Pikachu. I think he's meant to be like a cushion or a pillow because it's really, really soft. I paid £4 for this one. I think he's worth £30 to £40. Pound. In really nice condition as well. The other two uh, were um, two for a, two for £2. Two pound. So I picked up these two. That's a Paw Patrol Builder Bear. That is Spyro the Dragon from um, uh, Skylanders. And also the game. Um... He's worth about a tenner, he's worth 10 to 15. I might whatnot these, I might save these for a whatnot show, so that they, that would that would go okay. Um, that's all I can say about these. Look at these two beauties. Now, you know I love Jurassic Park, Jurassic World and all that, but look at these two. We've got the Indoraptor um, pop figure. I've actually put this in a case. I put all my pops in a case. Um, <clears throat> he worked out at five pound. And if I was going to sell this, uh, probably about 20, that's all right. And I did a bundle and this one worked out 20, uh, 20 and five. And um, he's worth about 35 if I was going to sell it. But of course, how can I sell that? Look at that. That is amazing. That is going up in my collection somewhere. I don't know where, but it's going somewhere, definitely. So that's nice. Um, yeah, £5, £20, same store. Now, I picked up some Atari games, and these were boxed and partially sealed. Uh, all three the same, uh, Real Sports Soccer. That one's not sealed, <clears throat> but 
pretty much new by the looks of it. And these two are part sealed, so you can see what I mean by part sealed. I paid five pound for all three. Um, I thought they were going to be worth a bit more because of they were the condition that they were in. Um, but really, they're not really worth much. Um, the best I could probably get on that one is probably about a tenner. So what I'm going to do is, what I've done, I've already listed these, I've bungled them together. I'm just going to sell all three together for 20 quid. So I paid a fiver for the three, so there's still profit in it. But I really felt like there was going to be more money in those games. Let's stay on the gaming theme. And this Game Boy Advance um, clear, is it clear blue? Was just sat on a stall, just begging for me to pick it up. This was way into the boot sale. Uh, I don't know how long it had been there or if they'd just got it out of their boot. But it were there. It was sat there. Nobody was looking at it. And I just walked along and picked that up. He said, make me an offer. And I kind of said, well, what are you looking for? You know, I went, put it back in his court. What are you looking for? He said, oh, about a fiver. I said, okay, I was thinking of a fiver anyway. Because <clears throat> you never know if it, it's going to work or not. But as it happens, he had some batteries. So he did put them in and we flicked it on. It looked like it was all working. The screen is mint. The whole thing is pretty mint, to be honest with you. Um, I've not picked up one of these for donkey's years. I can't remember the last time I picked up a Game Boy Advance. So it's nice to pick up for a fiver. And I think these are worth about 50-ish. Maybe even pushing 60. The condition is so nice on that. Maybe pushing 60. Now, I have to show you something truly amazing. Forget about the Jurassic Park stuff I picked up today. This is my favourite thing that I picked up. You just do not see killer clowns from outer space stuff out in the wild anymore. You just don't. And this thing is like a little beanie plush. I don't know if you're going to get it with the reflection there, but... This is cool. It cost me £3. I've got a feeling that this was in a loot crate once upon a time. Maybe like horror loot or B-movie loot, something like that. Um, it's worth 30 to £35 for a tiny little plush. But can I part with that? What do you think? <laughs> this is an interesting thing. It's a Newmark dj to go little mixing desk. Um, like a controller type thing. <clears throat> it don't come with anything else. I paid £3 for it. So, bit of a risk because there's no idea if it works or not. Um, I'm going to have to go like, see if you know I can get some lights to come on it or something. I'm not going to be able to fully test it, I don't think. It's just a USB connection. Um, I paid £3. If it's in order, 20 to 25 now, I did get a few bits of footwear today. So I picked up these Nike Air Max. Uh, I think they're women's or, you know, it could be unisex, but <clears throat> I think they're probably women's. Size UK 5. Um, what did I pay for those? Was it £5? £5 or £5.50. I was like, most of the shoes were like £5. Uh, so let's say a fiver. I think these are worth about... 35 maybe 40 pound um i've got some sketches always worth picking up sketches especially in the, if they're in nice condition like these uh what size of these ones i think they are a no i don't know actually uk4 again i think these were about a fiver or maybe six pound i think they're worth about 25 and i picked up these boxing Shoes, trainers, boxing trainers by Lonsdale. These cost £3, as you can see there. The price tag is still on. I think these are worth about £25. But what are the size in these? What is the size? It's a UK 11. They're quite a big size. Um, yeah, maybe around 25 on those. Another lot of shoes or trainers. We've got some DKNY ladies. Green sort of strappy elastic trainers. Hopefully they are genuine. <clears throat> what size are these? These are a size three and a half or four? Three and a half. 36B. Uh, anyway, I think they were about five quid. <clears throat> I think we're looking 30 to 40 pound on those. These are Kurt Geiger uh, Run Wild 
trainers shoes kind of high platformy type things what size are they have we got a size can't see the size on these oh here we go sorry i can't see it in this light um what did i pay again i think these were like five pound um if i can clean these up a bit a few little scuffs on the front there. Maybe about £25 or £30 on those. And we've got some diesel uh, pumps. I mean, I call them pumps. I don't know what you call them these days. Uh, but I'd, I'd say they were pumps. Like mid-top pumps. Uh, only £3 paid on those. They could be kind of like £30. Some more figures. Um, this one is particularly nice. This is like a... A heavyweight diamond select Hulk. I think he was £1.50, but he is a real nice figure. Very, very heavy. You'll know if you know the diamond select ones what I'm talking about. That's not a lightweight one. Uh, yeah, I think I paid around one fifty for him. I think he's worth about £25. Um, also, I got these three from the same store. Um, I've got two Sonic figures and a Mario. These worked out at... A pound for Mario and about three pound for these two. And I think I'm going to go straight to whatnot on these. Um, I don't know what the value is of them. I'm just going to go straight into a whatnot auction and see what people think of those. And the final two items you'll be so glad to hear are these two ladies shoes. I don't often buy ladies sort of shoes. Like I'll do trainers, but not really. I'm not really into shoes. But these are two good brands. These are Hush Puppies. Quite high sort of wedge platformy type things. <clears throat> what size are we on on these? No idea. Oh, there we go. UK fives. These were five pound a pair. I think the Hush Puppies are worth. 30 ish. These ones are Clark's, bought from the same store. And um, again, £5. So I think um, 25 on those, something like that. That's everything from today's boot sale at Real Car Boot. Um, please drop a comment. Let me know what you thought of the haul. Was there anything that you liked or you thought I overpaid on or you wouldn't have bought or. Whatever, just drop us a comment. I always try to reply to everyone's comments. Also, stay tuned because I'm about to show you the two Steves from the channel Movie Chats who came round and we did a bit of a deal on some of my collectibles. I do like that. I do like the Aladdin and Genie. Cool, man. Mm. Free with cobwebs. Get this so come on then, what do you what do you want any of this or I what? I reckon you should let them have one. Yeah, each we'll offer you four pounds. Depends. Make a pile and then we'll see what you've got. I've four got pound. Is that it? That's it. That's it. That is cool. I like that. Ultra Prime. Oops. So this is all stuff that I'm I'm not keeping out of my own collection, and the two Steves are going to have a look through. See if there's anything they want. The alarm clock's so loud. This one? Yeah. Should sound I'll just sit back yeah. and wait. I'll sit oh. back and wait. Good morning. <laughs> it's horrible, isn't it? Yeah. It's like the wrong sound, isn't it? Yeah. It just where, doesn't match. Like where are you going? Or? What are you yeah, doing, cooks? Waiters all catch the pigeon, yeah. or yeah. It's changed. It's not. It's more than one tune. It's like it wasn't licensed to do the tune. Good morning. Good morning. That sounds like one of those dodgy two P machines, doesn't it? <laughs> Good morning. Our loft boot sale. You're after the. You're after the mummy. I see Lana's monitoring. Uh, yeah. yeah. Be careful. <laughs> you have to. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on it. I thought you wanted him, Steve. Uh, how much you have for him? Because <sighs> it's for the eldest. She does 
She won't. She's 16 now, guys. Okay. That's not very nice. Uh, Steve, have you got anything edible in your bag? Just the jelly babies. Oh, I know what it is. It's Welsh cakes. Ah, uh, she could smell some it. Let me leave the Christmas for you. Yeah, just those for me, bud. How much do you want to pay? How much do you want for Four quid. <laughs> four quid. I did that for four pounds a night, but he said no. You've got to always pay four quid when it's called. That's the only four quid, isn't it? Oh, less. What's in that? Those two. 15 quid. 14. 14, okay, 14. Done. 14 well quid. Well negotiated. I think I've already got this one. I've got that in a free pack, so there's just no point in me having it separate. I, I've got that much back to the future. There's a lot of things going in that car. Okay. Because I'm sick of it. Oh, there you go, she's put her foot down. Right, will you transfer <laughs> some money? What? Will you transfer some money? I'll transfer her the money here. Right, she's gone now. <laughs> You can pick some more stuff, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Little Steve's whittled this down. I'm working on it. How long does it take you to think about what you want? Well, it's your pricing. If it was two quid each, well, I'd have them all. You've not asked me yet. It okay, could be, let's, could let's, be let's, let's test this theory, shall we? Oh. No, I didn't pick those ones. That's... Oh, you don't want these? No, 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 no. Oh, no, what happened there? Well, you dropped something, something off in there. 24 quid. Steve, for the six days. That, that's not a bad day, That is, is scathing. It? That's, four, that's four pound an item, Chris. Your yeah, we don't. Price. We know we don't do four pound an item. Right, I'll tell you what. Um, make me an offer. Well, he's just made you an offer. <laughs> <laughs> you've got all them DVDs that you're going to make a fortune Oh, God. It's killing him, isn't it? It is. It is. I wish Tell you could what. see his reaction. Um, 40 quid. That's 30. fair. 40 and... No, I don't want to add anything else. And you can have this guy. No. 30 quid. Job oh, done. 30. Jesus, man. And I'll leave an for it. I'll have right. then. There's 20 quid there. There's a tenner there. Then you're very, very generous and you've got, person, aren't you? You've got a whole set of mini pops there, horror ones. If me, I ask Belle, Belle will give me for 20 quid. 35. Me 30. in the middle, 32.50. 35. Where am I working on 32.50? <laughs> 35 and you get to keep him. 30 That's a little... and you can keep group. Ah. 35. 30. Come on. 30. <laughs> I'm out of this negotiation, I've got my 14 quid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got a decent deal, haven't you? As it's you, okay. Yay! There we go. <laughs> Rob, daylight robbery. That's it, everybody. Thanks very much for watching. Let me know what you thought about these new style haul videos. I'm interested to hear. We'll see you on the next one. Subscribe, like, do all that stuff if you want. Take care. Thanks very much for watching, really appreciate it. If you want to catch up on another one of my videos, you can try one like this or one like this. They're both good ones. Uh, give it a go. Or you can subscribe by pressing this button here. There you go. See you later.